Our next video coming up is uh, we, we the Furry Drama Show do send videos out sometimes other cons that we can't make it to. Uh, we offered to do that for last week's con, Gateway Furby, said, hey, we know you're having a new show. We understand how hard it is to fill your show up with acts, as you've kind of seen here. And uh, we'll offer to send you some videos. And I, I didn't hear it back from them. All right, fine. It, it happens. They're busy. We waited, waited, waited. And uh, next thing I know, we get an email from them. Hey, our, our person quit. <laughs> Can you want to do a furry drama show here? It's like, oh, man. So we did a furry drama show there last week. Now we're here this week. Oh, my God. Oh, busy life. Now, like I said, we do send videos out. Uh, now we get videos back. And this is one from uh, FC. From uh, uh, the, something unleashed. What do they call it? Unleashed? Very unleashed. Well, anyway, it's by Sprout. She does a great job. And she put together this public service announcement that I want every one of you to pay attention to. It's about fursuiting, okay? And don't even think about doing this, okay? It's for your own. It's based on a California commercial. When did you turn off the lights or something? Oh. Spending all 
your money on the horse and hounds. You had a charming air, all cheap and debonair. My widowed mother found so sweet. And so she took you in, her sheets still warm with him, now filled with filth and foul disease. As time went on, you proved a dead ridden, drunken mess, leaving my mother a poor, consumptive wretch. And when you disappeared, your gambling arrears, the only thing you left behind. And then the magistrate reclaimed our small estate, and my poor mother lost her mind. Then one day in spring my poor sweet mother died. But before she did, I took her in as she dying cried. It took me fifteen years to swallow all my tears among the urchins in the street. But then a priory took pity and hired me to keep the vestry nice and neat. Don't you hate it when that happens? I, I know, and the worst part is I know every year perfectly. Okay. But never once in the employ of those holy men did I ever turn my mind from the thought of revenge. Then one day I overheard a prior exchanging words with a penitent whaler from the east. The captain of his ship, who matched you toe to tip, was known for one cruelty. The following day I set to sail with a privateer. And in the whistle of the wind, I could almost hear. Find him, bind him, tie him to a pole and break his fingers to splinters. Drag him to a hole until he wakes up naked, clawing at the ceiling of his grave. There is one thing I must say to you. As you sail across the sea, always your mother will watch over you. As you as you avenge this wicked deed, and then that fateful night, I had you in our sights. After twenty months at sea, I was getting my monks' muskets cleaned. Your starboard flank was beam. When came that grumbling from beneath? The ocean shook, the sky turned black, and the captain wailed. For before us rose the angry jaws of a giant whale. I don't know how I survived, my crew were all true to life. I must have slipped between its teeth. But oh, what providence, what divine intelligence, that you should survive as well as me. It does my heart great joy to see your eyes fill with fear. As I lean in close and whisper the last words you'll ever hear. Sing a song a cappella. I, I did that a couple years back and <laughs> I stumbled and oh my god, it is like the weight of the world. I will admit, I've also, had, I've also completely lost my voice from screaming obscenities all weekend. You know? Well, there oh. you go. That's a private <laughs> pay. Well, thank you very much, son. Yeah! You want to see back on stage with me, right? Now, I just turn on the lights. That way I can hurl somebody at y'all. That's the only reason why. We got another video coming up here. I want to try to get odd one. Oh man, that's right, 2 him. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, uh, in the public service announcement, ooh, I almost fell off. Uh, in the public service announcement area, 
uh, we have to warn a lot of people. And uh, Oki made this, Oki Cody made this, for all the people out there, for them to know about furry and the furry fandom. So this is the Okie Doki Coyote Public Service Announcement. Look at that microphone. Oh, you pulled off the thing. Damn. <laughs> All right. I'm ready to give you a public service announcement about the furry fandom. I mean, there's nothing that would be afraid of. You get random stuff you tell her all the time. If you see something public, don't run away. There's really nothing to be afraid of because, honestly, who's getting hurt here? There's a lot of things that happen. You get in trouble. I mean, you just got to run. There's all kinds of things that be far worse that can happen, you know, to each from person. Uh, sadly, we, we missed our target. 